welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope we're doing okay. It's Tuesday today. I am off to a good start of the day so far. This morning I went to boot camp, did my exercise, and then, well, it was a bit of palaver yesterday. My, my vlogging camera broke at the weekend. I dropped it and I couldn't get it to, it just, it wasn't working. This camera that I'm currently using, I uh, had to replace it. So, it, cause it works on a gimbal, it's very, very small. It's a DJI Pocket 2 um, and it's a gimbal camera. And the, for some reason I must have dropped, when I dropped it, must have fucked the gimbal because it just wasn't, it weren't working. I looked at a load of different tutorials on in, on YouTube on how to fix it, nothing worked. In the end, I just had to go and get another one. Um, so what I did after the boot camp was I went to the Sainsbury's that was nearby that has an Argos in it, and then I just bought, I had to get another one. So that's that. And then I came home and got ready, filmed some Instagram stuff, um, and I'm just making dinner for tonight and then and me and mum some lunch which we're just gonna have in a sec just clearing the space that she's already just cleaned tonight i'm having a this is a slow cooker thai green and mango curry i found the recipe on instagram from some some man that makes nice slow cooker recipes so i thought i'd give it a go yeah mum's just doing my laundry just tidying up around the house. I'm gonna make her a nice lunch. Yummy yum. So I'm gonna do some vegan shawarma. I'm gonna have mine in a salad and I'm gonna do mum's in a pizza because I know she'll like that. So first I'm using my chopper, the chopper. Honestly, it's the best thing that I've bought from Amazon in a very long time, other than snacks. Okay, nicely chopped onion. <laughs> There you are, done it. Hi, bunny. Uh, just got a bit of garlic oil in the pan, and I'm gonna cook this. Cook this. Delicious. This stuff is so. Oh, this is kebab style. I love it. So yummy. Right, I'll do the rest of my choppy chop choppy in a second. My mother is talking to herself. What are you talking about, Sue? Hanging the washing out, and just however. I've never seen so many pairs of pants. <laughs> These are my period pants, ma'am. Oh, are they? Oh, right. Okay. Girl got on men straight, you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a long time ago for me. Do you not? You've had the menopause, have you? Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Thanks for doing that. I've just got to put the socks out now and there's... Hundreds. You can chuck them on these chairs, ma'am. I normally I just chuck, chuck them on... Chuck them on the chairs? Why? Sake. Shit. Go away. All right, I'm going. <laughs> my mum, my mum is my cleaner. I pay her to clean and help me out around the house once a week. And she also does my other friends, a friend of mine's, before she comes to mine. We, me and Phil love it because it's just like, oh, it's just one, one less thing to do. Get to see my mum. I have to pay her to see her. No, it's just, it's just hand, it's handy because I just need a little bit of help every now and then. So she comes and helps me. That's my cucumber and tomato. It's all finely chopped. I just love really finely chopped, like vegetables at the minute. <laughs> Lemon on there and salt. That's how I do it. And then mix it up like that. Mum's got a flatbread, so I'll put some in her flatbread. And then I've got a salad. Trying not to eat much bread at the minute. I don't really agree with me. It's so horrible, uncomfortably bloated from bread. A little stir. A job blob of taxiki on the top. Couple of cans of Pepsi. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is vegan Greek kebab. Well, it's not fully vegan, but the meat stuff is vegan Greek stuff. Mm, nice. Got the shawarma last week, and I bought the shawarma again and the Greek stuff again this week. Mm. I've seen that in the supermarket, but I've never actually bought it. Get it. Ooh. I love that Lola's got a rock for you. <laughs> Stop it! No, 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 no. <laughs> Mum, how has your day been today? Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. 
I've got a poorly finger. <laughs> Look. Oh fuck! How'd you do that? That was stupid, really. Ozzy's lead. He, I took him around the corner. I've got because I've got one of those retractable leads. What are you doing? Are you looking at your grandma? Are you <laughs> loving me? Oh, yeah, and there was a cat. And I got the lead sort of through my fingers and he pulled it and I didn't have the button fixed so it wouldn't go. Oh no! And it was like a, oh, it was like a burn. What do you want me to do with this? I'm not very good at throwing Lola. I have got ah! orders to pack. Two bags full. Ugh, let's pick up my rubbish. Put it in there. My manifest. That drawer's broken. What? <laughs> Why am I being attacked? Huh? Madre has gone. I have packed loads of orders. It's been actually wild for you been a wild week for orders actually it's been great um thanks everybody for purchasing from my shop i have just had a therapy um i haven't had it for three weeks i'm just sort of not having it as often anymore um but it's nice to check in i'm just about to edit some real content reels not like real like it's real it's real content reels i'll better crack on yeah, I want to be done by five, so let's crack on. Look what came in the post. So I bought this, a box of these from Amazon, and I put it on my Instagram story because I was like, not Phil's. Because <laughs> he has a habit of just like eating everything. So these are my little snacks that I buy, my, my posh snacks. They're, they're less sugar, they're gluten-free, they're organic, they're vegan, you know. So a little little treat for myself that's not like going full on for a chocolate bar you know they they sort of itch that scratch that itch do you know what I mean but anyway I put it on my story and the company Rhythm 108 saw it and they were like hey would you like to try out like our range and they sent me this box so I've got a cookie I've got some more of these there was a chocolate orange one as well but I've just eaten that <laughs> and then these um these cookies, I must admit, this is like my favourite perk of being an influencer, is the food. <laughs> the snack opportunities. Anyway, let's check on the curry. Oh yeah! Can't wait to eat it. I've got some coconut rice to go with it. Here we go, bon appetit. I hope it's nice, I'm just served it with some coconut rice. Is it all right? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Delicious. Well, thank you, you Instagram. Family advert where it's like... Mmm. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Oh, good. Good morning. It is Wellness Wednesday. I don't really know what I'm going to do that's wellnessy other than go to the gym. I've got things to do. I've got to make a confession. And I'm very ashamed of myself for this and embarrassed by it. Diane's got fleas, so then Lola's probably going to have fleas. And I think I've got fleas because I'm itching because I know there's fleas on her. I haven't fleed or wormed them in a while because I'm a terrible dog owner. Um, also, because mostly because I forget to, and I know it's in my diary, and I'm like, I must do it. But it's one of those things that I've just told myself is really hard to do. So this is just a fucking lesson learned to myself and to other people. Make sure you regularly flee and work your dogs. Yeah, so I'm terrible. So where am I going to now? I'm going to the pet shop to buy a flea, flea and worming treatments. And then I'm gonna go to the gym.
Here we go. Hello? Hello? Here we go, front line. Hmm. Okay, two up to ten, that's easy. Kills fleas, yeah, I need that one. Hmm. There's a few people in the world that could do with that. What a lovely, helpful man. Help me with my flea stuff. Sometimes, in certain situations, I just come across like a complete buffoon. Like, I'm in there, I've got my tail between my legs, like, I haven't fleed all with my dogs, and now my dog's got fleas. And uh, he's very helpful, but I just, I have done it before. But I've just created this conf like this situation in my head that it's more too confusing. So I finally signed up to a subscription, so I've also got oh, quickly flea spray for the house. Everywhere that they've been, I'm gonna spray and I just got some dentist sticks. We're fleed. I've fumigated the house with my spray. I'm going gym. Dressed. I'm off out again. So I am in the city this afternoon to see my friends in and Lavar. Talk music stuff. I've just been MS, grab myself a quick wrap because I've not had time to, to eat anything because I've been well I went to the gym and then I had my bath and then I was on the phone to Grace for ages, like laying around in my towel talking wedding stuff because her her and Andrew are getting married this year very last minute but not last minute like they're always they're always gonna get married but we were they were <laughs> gonna elope when we were in Disney um, and then have a small reception in Norwich but because of like family and other bits and bobs they've decided to treat Florida like the stag hen and then have a, a relatively small wedding here in Norwich so I've just been helping her plan that just making sure she's getting all the, her bits done that she needs doing because time is sort of precious now because you know wedding planning you need a bit of you know you need a bit of time don't you so same year wedding planning has been like oh fuck so just been on the phone to her for ages so I've got myself a little gluten free rep I'm gonna go ahead and meet my friend Ian for coffee and some chats. Oof, Christ. Uh, the key. Fuck me. It. What am I doing? Had a nice time with my friend Ian and Lavar. We're just talking about loads. Went down to Lavar's studio where he mixes a load of music. He's doing like uh, Dolby surround mixes for music. It's like it's so fucking cool and interesting. So Apple are now doing Dolby surround music, which comes with Apple Music, and if you've got AirPods, it will have Dolby surround. Um, so he has that technology in his studio to basically mix music so it's in your, all around your head and I got to sit in there and listen and it was fucking incredible like it was if you're someone that's like sensitive to AS ASMR and likes it this is just oh my god it was literally like the only way you should listen to music it was just all around your head I was not just left and right anymore it was like 
in the back of my brain, in the top of my brain, like everywhere. It was just amazing. Oh, a train. And I've just been to a ADHD seminar run by ADHD Norfolk, who were the people that I went to for my diagnosis. And it was just like an introduction to like what ADHD is, like where does it come from or where doesn't it come from, like about the stigmas and all, all these things. Um, and I had mum and Phil come and they found it really interesting and it was just cool to like have other people there that either have ADHD or their partners do or their children do. Um, so I'm in my car, he's in his van because he came straight from work. So I'm now gonna go home and have some dinner. I'm bloody starving. Scrumptious. Weird slop vegetables. <laughs> With salmon. Enough potatoes. That'll do for me, yeah. You can have the rest. And potatoes. Oh, Mum. Oh, Mum. Button that box. Ooh. Ah, this is the dog's food. We have got. Tell all your friends. They'll get 50% off their first box. And you'll get 50% off your next box. Okay, awesome. We got some treats. Treats. We can't have them right now. Ooh. This is about the food. The menu. Food! They love their butternut. Like, they get crazy for it. And I'd say, I say to people, if there was ever an apocalypse and we had no food in the house, I'd eat this. Because it actually, it's just meat and veg. And it don't, it smells nice. And you get out for them. So they have half of it in the morning and half of it in the evening. And I recommend this to like everybody. All my friends. I'm like, come on guys. Get on the butternut. I've been in the park for two minutes and I kick the ball in the grass. Oh dear. What are you doing? I can't see it. Come on girl. She's I mean, A, I shouldn't have kicked it. It went in it went in the grass. <laughs> Bad aim. But B, she is just terrible searching for her ball. Oh wow, look at this bug. Hello bug. You got it? Where is it? It's bright pink. Oh there. So I was about here when I kicked it. And it went in this, well, went in this direction. This is going to be a nightmare. I can't find it. She is, this is going to be her now forever until she finds it. Hey, Diane. Are you helping? Probably not. Bet you found it. <laughs> <laughs> Bet Diane stumbled across it and she's just done nothing about it. Yep, no luck with the ball. We gave up. It was just too, there was too much grass though, and it was one of them little balls. Though, so, yeah, I reckon Diane found it and just didn't say anything because she's not interested with balls. <sighs> I'm in London. I'm in London been here in a while. Um, I've come down to London today to meet my new manager. So uh, my old manager left and uh, I've got a new manager called Chelsea and I've not met her yet. Um, we've sort of been talking for the last few weeks. We've set up a meeting so I can meet her and we can chat and we can talk about future plans, how we're going to conquer the world, all of that. Ah, the sun is out. So I just had a lovely lunch meeting at a place called Caravan and it was delicious. I had like broccoli, um, sweet potato, bean, bit of chicken in a salad thing. It was just like, you know when, you know when a salad, you know when you're there like salad bowls that are just depressing and not very filling, just a bit bleh. This was just the, 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 the this was filling and delicious and lovely and I had a great time with it 
Um, so I need to make sure I'm back at the train station for half four because that is the last off-peak train and I don't particularly oh, want to have to wait till seven o'clock to get a train. So I'm just going to mooch, slowly make, wake my, make my way back to Liverpool Street. Good morning. It's Friday. It'll be a nice weekend this weekend. Sun's out, guns out. I'm gonna spend the time in a heat wave the best possible way going to personal training. Don't you think the brain is like amazing? but also a pain in the ass. So I think I must have woken up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Cause I woke up and I, I was all right. You know, I was just sort of doing some bits on my laptop that he did doing, but yeah, I woke up like here and I just slowly sort of declined to this point where I just felt, uh, well, I guess I felt low, but like, but like, unmotivated, just, I just don't want to do anything. I felt low, there was no particular reason why I felt low, um, it wasn't like I feel sad because of this, it's like I just feel a bit like, uh a little bit, mm, bit uh. went to PT which perked me up because it was nice to see Kat and I got some exercise done and I felt good so my mood went up a bit and then I got home and it just sort of and it was like I'm thinking all these things that I need to do or should do and none of them I just what like could be asked to do I just thought I, I don't know no I just couldn't pluck up the fucking whatever it is the energy or or the want or the need to do stuff to do it like i just thought oh god i don't i just don't want to do anything so i just flopped around and i just i, I fell asleep for an hour woke up feeling like a completely different person so i've made myself a really fucking a salad um gotta go do my hair and makeup and film it and then i'm gonna sit here in the garden and do some work it's annoying because sometimes it's like Oh no, just just get up and do something that'll make you feel good once you get going. But if you can't get to that point of actually doing the thing, like sometimes you can get to yourself to that point to do the thing where you know it's going to make you feel better. We're like, come on, let's just go for a walk or let's just do some cleaning because you know that makes you feel good, personally. So then I, if I can't get to that point where I actually do the thing that I know is going to cheer me up, I end up just having a nap and then most of the time I wake up feeling better. Ugh, I hate feeling, I hate it when this happens though, but you know what, like these days I'm just sort of like acknowledging my feelings and um, whereas before it would be like, why am I feeling like this? Oh my God, I'm such a failure. It'd be like, you're having a bad day today. Just ride the wave. Because I know, I know these feelings are always temporary. Like I have weeks where I feel amazing, non-stop, unstoppable. And then sometimes I just feel like, low and unmotivated and just like ugh. but i know that that is just like the way that i am so rather than guilt tripping or trying to force myself to do something i can't do or don't want to do or you know self-sabotage or and by self-sabotage i mean be mean to myself rather than doing any of that i just sort of think right what well, what's happening here what we feeling, okay. Right, let's just take it easy. Acknowledging and accepting your feelings, because you know it's only temporary. When you're feeling down, rather than forcing yourself to be productive and do something, just accept that, that today isn't gonna be a productive day. But next week, you might find yourself being like up here, like yeah. There's one thing I'm learning about myself and having ADHD. Do you know what I'm excited about today? Which I didn't think I'd be excited about. Measuring boxes with my tape measure to, to design some sort of sticky label 
because at the minute this is what I pack my jewellery in for my shop. I folded it the wrong way around. And currently I use my branded tape around it, but it's actually really, really fiddly. Um, because the tape I use is gum tape, so it's actually not sticky at all. You have to wet it. So I don't lick it. <laughs> that would be gross. It comes on a roll with like um, a sponge that wets it. So when you pull it, it goes across the sponge and it wets it. But obviously the tape is really thick and sticking it down is sometimes a faff. So I want to design a sticker, that like a, a square sticker that goes like that. Basically it says like, thank you, sweet honeydew. I've come out of the house. I have, I managed to film a makeup tutorial a hair tutorial and edited those and now I'm going to a gig um, Gavin who recorded, produced and is releasing our new EP etc his band is playing Voodoo Daddies and I'm actually playing Voodoo Daddies soon too <laughs> so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go watch them play been put on the guest list. <laughs> good morning, it is Saturday. I had such a good time at the gig last night. Um, it was nice, there was a lot of familiar faces there. So um, I went there on my own. I was a little bit nervous at first, only because I've never been to a gig on my own. Uh, I've never been to a gig on my own. And like, I'm a strong independent woman. I can do, I can do stuff on my own, but I've never done a gig before, but I got there. And yeah, there's a bunch of people that are new, so that was really nice. I am, Phil's working today. And so I thought, see what Grace was up to. And we're gonna go in the city for a Saturday girly day in the city. Bonjour. Bonjour. This is a new brunch bot that's opened in Noz and we're gonna give it a go. I'm thinking of having either the vegetarian burrito Ooh, yes. or the garlic truffle on toast. I'm so hungry. This is mushrooms on toast with an egg and these little crispy things. Interesting. She went for an eggs Danny. Eggs bean. That was a delicious brunch when walking to get Grace's ears pierced and she's scared. Did you enjoy your brunch? Oh my god it was so good. I don't think I left anything behind. Okay, we're going to Indigo. They've got new premises now. Indigo. You're holding a fart and you're gonna have to let that out. <laughs> you just have to let it out. Because it's gonna come out involuntarily <laughs> when you oh get it pierced. <laughs> so, you have with that placement. So I'm gonna copy that one over for you, first of all. Um, so this is just the digital ruler. I know it looks terrifying, but I promise it won't hurt. It's just one that's just got a digital screen here, but a lot of people get My scared by like... this. It is, it does look scary, but it's not. What is it? A digital ruler, so you yeah, can do the exact up. same dots. Exactly, so we can measure everything. That's amazing. It just makes my placement a little bit more reliable. I love that you're just holding your life. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me, pal, with finale. Right, babe, so we've measured one and two. Do you want to have a little look? Just check you're happy with it. It's a hard angle. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna say, I think it looks lovely. I think it looks beautiful. Um, so do you want, should we go? So is it really like sharp needle and not like really thick? It's, it's really, really sharp. Mm -hmm. That's why it's got no blood. Because it's get, like, we get so sharp. It goes in like a fucking butter, mate. You're barely gonna feel it. Okay. The thing that you will feel is the jewelry insert. There's a little tiny, tiny pinch when we insert that jewelry. But it goes through the tube, right? Exactly. So it's an intracannular needle. So it's like a sheath that goes over the needle. Yeah. And then we, we pierce you, we leave the sheath in there and then just spread that jewelry neatly through for you. <laughs> and it plugs that hole. So you're gonna be absolutely fine. It's a beautiful, smooth, low pain, really hygienic and sterile piercing, and I promise it'll be much better than you're imagining. Do you know what? I think once you've had the first one done, you'll know what to expect. You're like, right, that's exactly. how that's how it feels. Let's just do it. Yeah. Do you, should we mark up for the third and the fourth as well? Yeah. Why not? Just in case, and then yeah. you can decide after if you want to go with it. Okay. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an equidistant for you. So I'm just going to use that same measurement that we've got and go ahead and do a. a a placement that's literally the same as the other two, just so we've got a nice equal kind of aesthetic for you, babe. You honestly, it's so funny because I want when I had that hyaluronic acid injected into my face, I was like fainting. Really? Right? Yeah, well I hadn't really eaten much anyway that day. Mm -hmm. But and you're the opposite. You're like you've got all sorts of shit put in your face. 
more nervous about the... Um, and you're more nervous about this? But, you know, needlephobia is a very, very real thing. Yeah. So like, this is the thing, though, like, I'll go to my friend Grace, um, Grace being <laughs> aesthetics. Yeah, great. Shout out. And, I, honestly, I sit down and I, I actually look forward to going and getting filler done. So, Aww. you know, hopefully this is the... One of yeah, them. yeah, yeah. This is the experience that you have as well. I'll do my very best. I got you. You're okay. Think about it. You're always in pain. Your period pain, your butt pain, oh, your lip pain. Well, yeah. It's We're just built to survive. Exactly, exactly. It's just part of our daily pain, isn't it? A little bit of pain. It's nothing worse than a period pain, though. I'll tell you that yeah. for free, mate. I've got them brewing as well. <laughs> oh, perfect. Lovely. You really need a poo. No, I'm really sorry if I trump, okay? It just might happen. Do you know happen. how common it is to fart when you get pissed? And do you know that you never have to apologise for any body functions? Because it's absolutely fine. I'm going to ask you now to just do a big deep breath in for me, please, mate. Okay. And then a big deep breath out. Well done. That's oh! Perfect. Well done. That was a lovely little opera. Opera sing, wasn't it, mate? Mm -hmm, yeah. So I'm just going to push this little libretto mm -hmm. in for you. So mm -hmm. there's a little pin. Mm -hmm. Well done. And then that was absolutely fine. <laughs> Can I go home now? <laughs> Do you want the second one in this here now? So, what's the pain like with that one? It's the same. Right, go for it. Go on, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> so, big deep breath in and then just back out. Oh, oh, that's it. oh I love the opera. <laughs> that's, that's very nice. You can do the other here now. Oh Easy. God, yeah. yeah, shall we? Fuck it. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to opera. No, you can opera as much. Do you know what? I think that is a natural response because I do exactly the same. Do you? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you done it? Pissed. Quadruple. I've been wanting this for six years. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Well done. Oh, they look so nice. They look legend. Good. Well done. That was really bullshit, babe. Yeah. You fucking sat through something. You came in with sheer terror okay. and you did it four times. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> <Be> your nose. <laughs> no. it. That was an amazing, amazing experience. And wasn't she just wonderful? Yeah, she was. I had to put my hair back. Does it look all right? Yeah, it's fresh. Look at them cupcakes. I've not yeah. been in here yet. <gasps> look at how good everything looks. <gasps> oh my god. All right, so we've got piercings, cupcakes to, for the dogs, not us. Doggy cupcakes. I do like Oliver Bonas. I wouldn't Oliver have Oliver Bonas. Them jeans. I don't know where my jeans are. <gasps> look at this dress. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. You've chosen a real good time to change the earring jewellery. Oh, it's just fresh. You went to the toilet. No, I meant in terms of like oh. because because you've just got fresh piercings in your oh. ear. We've come to the garnet for a drink of soft variety. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, how was your piercing experience in Indigo? It was really, really good. I've been, as I said, I've been wanting to get them done for a while. Um, and I, I always talk to you about it. And you're like, just get it done. And I'm like, I'm a wimp. But then you booked it today. And I was actually quite up for it. Um, and we didn't just do the second holes, we did the thirds as well. And the woman just made me feel so comfortable and I had nothing to worry about basically. So if she you're was like, great. If she you're was like great. me and you've been pondering over it for about six years, just get off your ass and go get it done. Yeah. And if you are in Norwich, get it done at Indigo because I had a swell time. We have one doggy cupcake here. It's only fair if I cut it in half. Right. Ooh, yum. Good girl. Ooh, fucking hell. Lolly, I got something for you. Good girl. Sit. Sit. You're so gentle. Go on, take it. Oh, good girl. This mess that you've made. Oh my god, is that right? Is that correct? And wine, 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 wine. And I've made 
invented this. This is a croissant roll that I got at the end of the week from Sainsbury's. We have an omelette with Emmental cheese in it with spring onion, a vegetarian sausage back patty like you'd get from McDonald's, and a sweet potato hash brown. Sunday oh, treats. Yeah. Is it good? Mm. We did have a bit of booze last night, so we're both feeling a little bit just noticeable. Uh, you, you're aware that alcohol was consumed. Mm. <laughs> this looks delish. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Always a good spread. Yeah, ma'am. We do do a good job, don't we? We do. And then we'll we just are such foodies. Um, is there forks? We've got a salon. Sinead has already uh, <laughs> started. <laughs> What's that? Who the hell's that? Yeah, that's, uh, no, 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 no. She's getting her nails done. She's going all day tomorrow. She's the sexy mama. Oh, she gets what she won. <laughs> <laughs> and Sinead has already I started. Know, that's You've been really quiet for like half an hour. And now you're <laughs> She's on <laughs> one. Just hit. I mean, that was that sip of tizer. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Sinead's also started helping me alter a bridesmaid dress, haven't you? Yeah. So she's we just. Don't a... let her relax when she no. comes and hangs oh, out with us. She just does everything. Yeah. It's like it's like a monthly maintenance on us all, isn't it? <laughs> Help! I need this thing. Mm. So Help me, Sinead. Right. Need... We'll let that warm up, and then you can. See We've got our SBF out. We've been you very can, good um, girls. Um, you... Girls have left. Had a lovely afternoon. When I went to the city yesterday. I bought three lip colours, my Maybelline Matte Inks. These are like, this is my own, the, really the only lipstick that I ever use. This purple, oh that's the, the really cool one, I love that one. This green one just smells so fresh, I think I'm going to have that one in the bath today. It's a twilight bath bomb, so that's a nighttime one. And then I got the blue soap. This removed hair dye out of white shorts. Here you go. 